Alright guys, welcome back to the brand new video. On today's video, Reverse 1999 will be the topic. This is the brand new game that is dropping 26th of October, so in about 12 days. So now already I will start doing the videos for this game. I'm insanely hyped and I want to learn as much as possible. So first things first immediately many people even now are interested in the tier list of reverse 1999 so we pretty much know from the get-go which are the characters we should be focused on also i'll be making some re-rolling guide massive shout out to pridevan.gg website where you can find really 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 useful information about many games and pretty much the the players the community are creating this uh, guides okay have in mind this tier list take it with a grain of salt just because it is not my own tier list so i cannot guarantee on nothing i just know that uh, pride van is like 100 legit web website and it's been helping community for a really long time so definitely but at the same time i just want to say that disclaimer so you know who knows, maybe they're gonna buff, nerf some characters for the actual global launch, you never know. But I will call this pre-launch or launch tier list for the global reverse 1999. In this upcoming days, I will be dropping the guides from this website, so I furthermore uh, promote this and of course i'm gonna learn a lot from this at the same time which will be really helpful for me as a content creator so i'm ready when the game drops so let me start uh above the tier list so reverse 1999 is a game where team building and strategy is the main focus by the way before we actually start i want to say what i heard that the game is really free to play friendly so take the rating listed here with a grain of salt as most characters can perform well under the right team and circumstances while conversely most characters rely on good, good syn energy with their teammates to deliver a good performance to build this tier list we tested all character both of their lower lower levels and high levels as well as both in optional and non-optional scenarios we took into consideration their versatility performance compared to other characters of the same role niche and if they grow or fall off as the game progress the result criteria the resulted in the criteria below okay so tier list we have criteria early game late game self-explanatory the, the tier list criteria okay damage dealer the main dps support characters that will help you with the buffs debuffs control and many other things and survival typings healers tanks and the ones with the tools who can keep team alive so we won't be so much focused on a late, late game now not necessary not at all let me introduce ourselves with the early game now my tier list composition is a little bit different i tend to put like damage dealers and supports and survivals like um how would say i never say s tier damage dealer this this and that no I, I just say s tier but it's fine this is even better because here we can see like the differences usually what i wanted to say i mention i i say yo damage dealer are this and this and this support are this and this and this and they're like usually i put even the god tier s plus tier so i do it a little bit differently but overall is the same thing so yeah the, the, this is overall pretty legit and 100 helpful uh and of course this website so it is good they put like damage dealer support survival me as a content creator on a youtube i can always say yo this is for the support yo this is for the dps okay i'm just putting a little bit uh col coloration here just so everything can be clearer okay so this is the early game tier list i won't go compli i won't complicate things and play smart here uh i just want to mainly be focused on the s tier characters and i want to analyze those a tier and everything else i will put the website in description below so i encourage you that you click on that link and check out these characters okay so damage dealer we have um B B corn bloom uh centurion and eternity okay so this is the best early game dps characters support characters on anon lee sonetto voyager 
Voyager, whatever it's pronounced, I don't know, I will... <laughs> the, the names again, <laughs> like, okay. Uh, DK uh, and Medicine Pocket. I mean, here it literally says, so, uh, the Corn Bloom, um, Debuff and Seal, a Centurion, we have Sustain, AP Generous, Sustain, Buff, Buffer Days, Buffer Disarm, Debuff Counter, Heal Damage Dealer, and heal damage reduction so here we have an also a nice summarization for the characters although we're gonna click on them and a little bit analyze them furthermore maybe not all of them but few of those characters that i'm interested in then we have the a tier so pretty much I will make a re-rolling guide with this website before it actually releases. Then we're gonna make more tier lists, more re-roll guides as the game progress. We're gonna see everything. Uh, but this is just for the introduction, so we know what we can expect. Okay. Uh, a Knight, Charlie, Julius, Eagle, and Regulus. This is all the characters as a damage dealers from the A tier. Uh, Moxie Gain, uh, Buff, Dispeller, Petrify, Crit Oriented, Crit Oriented. I mean, as until we actually start playing with those characters and see the mechanics and how everything works, for now, like a uh, Dispeller as after P3 Plus, does that mean a lot to you? Well, somehow we understand it, but still, as, as the game will be live and everything else all of this will be more understandable and many people will watch this after the game is live okay so guys this will be over i know some may some people may be watching this and the game is already live th th this will be helpful uh baby blue better eric so they're support characters better empower shield eric debuff crit support and baby blue debuff control okay then we have uh, Balloon Party, La Source, Oliver Falk, and Tenant is survival type of the characters. Heal counters, heal damage reduction, shield damage dealer. And the B, um, uh, Leilan, Leilani, Lilia, Matilda, Mondlicht, pa Pavia, they're the damage dealer. The support are Necrologist, Twin Sleep X. Uh, then we have Apple. Oh, I saw the gameplay of the apple. <laughs> okay, click Miss uh, New Babel and the Fool. Okay, and then we have the C tier, Rabi Sasuki, Sasuki Sweetheart. Then we have the support, uh, Nick Bottom, 3HMA. And then we have Survival, uh, Cristallo Sotebi. And then D rank and E and F. So F Onion is like the worst character in this game. Okay, for more details, you can click on this website and understand it. Now I'm just like wanna see the damage dealers. I wanna see the support and S tier characters and the survival characters. We won't go now in like full full detail, guys. Don't worry. I just want to roughly see what the characters is all about. So skills with the uh, corn bloom. One target attacks, those 550% reality damage and inflict seal. If the target is immune to seal, Moxie minus two to the target instead. She heard numerous detail of neighborhood store, blah, blah, blah. Cannot use ultimate. Oh, nice. So she can apply the seal and then opponent cannot use the ultimate. That's a huge deal. I understand why she's S tier. Just based on that already. Attack, mass attack. Damage, stats down. Wow. Next status, negative status control. This tech deals more damage. So each of the character has the ultimate um, support card and a normal attack card or ultimate. And, and then you have the levels on it. Ultimate doesn't have level. This active skill, let me call it like this has like stars in it and also like that support debuffing part so mass debuff all enemies suffer reality defense minus 15 plus 15 damage taken oh i understand why <laughs> so pretty much you'll be debuffing opponents sealing them and then you're gonna be able to do like massive damage towards them so yeah amazing character 
and she's a five star by the way six star is the highest rarity in this game then we have centurion mm, let's see mass attack deals 300 percent reality damage and inflicts one stack of weakness that's nice uh, then we have uh, reality damage plus reality damage so one target one target attack single target attacks so she'll be doing our really 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 massive damages mass attack deals reality damage uh, to two enemies so this goes even to two enemies mm, yeah <sighs> amazing character 100 percent then we have eternity six star mass attack aoe attack right aoe beautiful leech raid people tried every means to find we have debuff the caster suffers current hp minus 10 percent deals 200 percent real reality damage inflicts nasty wound nice so she inflicts even stuff then again big damages right here i guess bleed what is this uh, we have here inheritance oh yeah there is also that part of inheritance and many other things that i won't go now into full-on detail and only so aoe caster in power in cantation when a round begins a random incantation gains plus one star again damage damage some debuff parts inflicts days cannot attack uh, cannot act Okay, that's really good, like some kind of immobilization. And then AoE buffs really good to all allies. So Neto, again, uh, AoE ultimates penetration rate and deals 100% reality damage. So if the caster is in stats, stats up and pause statuses, this attack, okay, does that. Penetration, beautiful disarm, cannot use attack of incontain... Incon in incantations inherit okay above uh, buff, mass buffing again to all allies penetration rate penetrations are huge in this type of games so that's amazing for azure mental damage inflicts moxie minus two on the target so it's like put, put them a little bit back right like two moves if the target is confusion status this attack deals 100 percent more mental damage and then critical resist minus 25 that's the confusion 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 inter interstellar blessing sturdiness so deals genesis damage when the caster is attack damage taken reduction plus 20. serious characters bro uh dk one target purifies all stats down nega status control statuses from the caster to enter immunity for one round to the caster that's nice bro so they're really really like super helping as a survival type of the characters give you like long activity in the matches uh survivability and many more things like healing as you can see healing again and voyager okay for that nice um counters okay guys uh that's it leave a like subscribe your opinions in the comment section below mainly i just wanted to show you the tier list so you roughly know uh how the game works and on what you should be focused on from the beginning i will do the introduction and probably like a beginner guide from this with the re-rolling so Pretty much all the videos will be up where you're going to be able to learn a lot about this game even before the release, even when it launches. I will update anything related when the game is launched, what I think will, would be better or something like that. Okay guys, love you. I hope you did enjoy the video. And yeah, see you next one. Bye.